I guess we'll see a little bit from these Fed minutes, Glenn, but it feels like the situation on the ground is, is changing much more quickly than, than we get these, these notes. And I don't know how much we pay attention to that, how much we need to listen to see what's happening. You, you, what's your feeling about where we stand in the economy right now? Are we in a recession? Is, are the odds of a recession higher or are we still chugging along? So my view, uh, Becky, I think we, you and I have talked about this before, is my base case for uh, next year, 2023, is kind of a recession. Um, I think we're just starting, I'm just starting to see some of the effects of that, you know, that would lead in that direction, and some of the high-frequency data around money and bank accounts, credit card purchases, used car prices, those sorts of things. I think the Fed is determined, and the reason why I say this, I think the Fed is determined to get um, uh, inflation down. Uh, to their 2% target, and as I've told you, I think that because of structural reasons in the economy now, we're likely to see persistent inflation higher than that. So I think we're going to see relative higher interest rates for a longer period of time. Um, and those settings historically have been ones in which uh, the Fed has pushed the economy into recession, has not had the precision to be able to uh, uh, engineer a soft landing. Now, I'm not be careful, clear, I'm not making a prediction. I'm thinking about what my base case would be what scenarios would be around that and sensitivity surround all those. But that's kind of, I'm operating on an assumption that we're moving toward a recession in uh, 2023. Recessions aren't all created equally. Is your base case for a recession that is a, a very painful one or one that we kind of skim through, you know, not, it, not that it matters if you lose your job, if you lose your house, if you lose something else along the way, but how deep do you anticipate this recession will be? It's a very good question, uh, Becky. And again, I'm not, again, I'm talking about base case for planning purposes, both for corporations as boards I sit on, as well as in my investment portfolio. Uh, but we're in, it's very clearly not a balance sheet recession. We don't have the big kind of debts that are hung over from a period of ex ex excess borrowing households and uh, corporations that run through the banking system and create long-term problems that have to be worked out. Clearly not one of those. Um, it, it, but it's also probably more than just a quick, uh, interest rate and uh, hike and in inventory adjustment because of the uh, what I believe to be persistent causes of inflation, which we've talked about this before, demographics, uh, uh, smaller labor force, uh, decarbonization, the cost of taking carbon out of the economy, deglobalization, the cost, increasing cost of having at least two, if not more, supply chains in the world, as well as all the money that's sitting out there uh, as a result of debt monetization, larger pool of goods, larger pool of money chasing too few goods which either sparks inflation or you reduce the Fed balance sheet and that for, puts further pressure on the economy. So I think but, this longer-term inflationary impact will meet, lead to longer-term higher interest rates. I fear, not think, I fear. Yeah. That means you're pr probably not in, because of the health of the financial sector, you're probably not in for a deep uh, recession, but you might in be in for something that lasts longer. I'm glad you, you bring up the idea that you're thinking about this from your perspective on the one hand as a, as a board member. You're on the board of AT&T and other companies, too. What do you advise those companies? If you think the base case is a recession, is that a time to rein in CapEx spending? Is it a time to spend more? What, what happens? Because I think that's the self-fulfilling well, part of this prophecy is what companies do exactly. to determine what happens next, how deep of a recession this is, or if we actually go into one. So, well, that's how, in a sense, essence, Fed policy is supposed to work. They're supposed to tell us what they're going to do, and we're mm -hmm. supposed to react to that. And that's supposed to cool off the economy. That's the policy goal that they have, uh, very clearly. And, uh, you know, the old um, Fed uh, Wall Street aphorism about not finding the Fed is very much at work here now on the downside, where for the last decade it's been on the upside, right? Um, and so I think corporations should be prepared for um, uh, diminished consumer spending, uh, and for continued pressure on the cost of capital in the form of their stock prices. Uh, and they have to look at their individual businesses and see what that means in terms of where they have to think about cost or capital spending uh, decisions or preparations that they need to, to uh, have in mind.